What is up YouTube? This is Rob from RP Model Railroads. And in this video, I have yet another epic unboxing from my good friend Aaron, which means more custom Effort of Valley Railroad train stuff. So without further ado, let's crack this box open and see what's inside. Alright, let's begin. Okay, here we have a 40 foot box car, keep tires rolling on EV trains. So this is just a basic uh, 40 foot box car that's been redone by the Aaron Anderson shops with the keep tires rolling lettering for the Spartan Tire Company on the layout. This looks awesome. All right, here we go. Here is the second tires box car, second tires 40 foot box car, ship tires on the EV or on EV on the Effort of Valley on both sides of the box car. Looks awesome. And we have a third 40 foot box car labeled for Spartan Tire Company. Spartan Tire Company ships on EV. Another custom, nice brown 40 foot box car. So, three Spartan, or I should say, three box cars hauling tires for the Spartan Tire Company on the Effort of Valley Railroad. They look great. Okay, here we have the Anderson Truck and Electric Company. Proudly partnering with Federal Sign and Signal Corp of Illinois to deliver a brand new civil defense siren to Effort of Civil Defense to be installed at the new Effort of Waterworks. This artwork looks great. We'll hopefully not destroy it here, but all right, let's crack into it. All right, there we go. Gently, gently. Oh, there we go, there we go, okay, okay, all right, check this out everybody, so here is another civil defense siren, there actually already is a siren on the um, Effort of Valley Railroad, which is right next to the Effort of Fire Department. Here is another one that Aaron put together. It's uh, built from a kit with some special painted details. The top, of course, the siren part painted yellow, and then also down here we see Effort of Civil Defense, or ECD, on the uh, literal electrical box on the pole. So there you have it, another Civil Defense siren for the layout. Okay. And here is a fourth ship tires on the Effort of Valley Railroad, a fourth tires boxcar, which is incredible. I mean, such a big tire plant does need plenty of 40 foot boxcars to haul away the tires. So that is fantastic. Here we go. Now we get into the second level of the box. Here we go. All right, so here is a plain white and black box car done up for the Effort of Valley Dairy Company. So this is an industry that's not yet on the layout that I am thinking about adding, especially since uh, I already have, well, I have a few reefers decorated for the Effort of Valley Railroad, but this is the first official Effort of Valley Dairy Company box car. And uh, the design turned out amazing. Uh, the paint job looks fantastic with the white or really almost off-white type of scheme, the silver detail on the uh, sliding door, or I should say non-sliding door, I think this door got messed up, but that's okay. And the uh, black EV diamond as well, just looks great. In fact, I think this box car was repainted um, from a previous Effort of Valley job that uh, 
at the time didn't turn out so well, so it got redone. But yeah, this looks great. Excellent dairy car. All right, and here we have another dairy company car. Check this out. So this Effort of Valley Dairy Company is a plain 40 foot brown box car, but it's got some uh, black and white spots to look like uh, a cow on the doors of the car. It's just it's great. And there's one door that slides. I'm not sure if the other one slides or not. It might be stuck or glued, but that's okay. So yeah, another Effort of Valley Dairy Company box car, and that. Uh, Cal door just looks great on both sides of this car. Looks amazing. All right. All right. Effort of Valley Railroad's first full door box car. Check this out. Effort of Valley Timber. Take a look at the uh, tree logo there with the black EV diamond, which just looks great. Carrying Timber around the Effort of Valley Railroad. This car looks awesome. And there's the opposite side. The first full door box car for the Effort of Valley Railroad. Looks great. And here we have a second full door box car for the Effort of Valley Railroad in an all silver scheme. So it's all silver with a simple red stripe down the side. EV 7000. Effort of Valley full door box car. Looks awesome. Okay. And we have not one, not two, three full door box cars for the Effort of Valley Railroad. This is another timber full door box car. And this one is sporting a black flag EV logo that is uh, painted on there quite well. So it still shows the ribbing on the side of the box car. This green full door box car looks great too. So now the Effort of Valley Railroad has three full door box cars in the rolling stock roster. On to level three of the box. All right, here we go with more freight cars. Here we go, Effort of Valley's Frozen Goods 50 foot reefer car, or the Effort of Valley Chill Liner, check it out. And it's got a raised black diamond there. And here is the opposite side, Frozen Goods, Effort of Valley Chill Liner. This 50 foot reefer looks great. And there's more where that came from. Here is Another reefer for the Effort of Valley box car. This is actually a uh, standard Tyco reefer that uh, saw better days and now looks great. So it's got a simple dark red, heritage red scheme with a black roof. Express reefer, I really like how Aaron came up with the idea to uh, curve the stickers so that it almost looks like curved lettering on the side of the box car, as well as the silver details around the door and such. Just looks great. And there's the other side. So now the Effort of Valley Railroad has a uh, Small express reefer, 40 foot express reefer. Okay. Here we are with just a plain Jane Effort of Valley Railroad reddish brown box car, 40 foot box car that is. Completely plain with uh, a black Effort of Valley diamond and some uh, white painted details onto the step ladders on the side and also on the roof. Just a regular old plain 40 foot box car. Looks great. All right, here's another awesome freight car. It is a uh, six dome small tanker car here. Effort of Valley, check it out. So it's part heritage red and also part an off white color. And then uh, also take notice of how uh, the uh, lettering is applied up here on the domes, Effort of Valley. I think that looks great. And also some silver details around the uh, top of the domes. This tanker turned out amazing. So now the Effort of Valley Railroad has a uh, small six dome tanker car. Looks awesome. There we go. And here we have another Effort of coal hopper here, another effort of coal quad hopper. 
I really love the rust added details there. The rust looks fantastic. Uh, it's got kind of a glossy black finish to it, which is great. I hope to get a coal load for this thing, but yeah, this is for the Effort of Coal Mine Coal. Uh, take a look at the uh, yellow, I'm sorry, the white diamond there, and also the white added details on that end of the hopper at least, as well as all over the uh, ladders and uh, the step ladders down here. Yeah, this, this coal hopper looks awesome. Yet another coal hopper for the Effort of Valley Railroad. All right, and now we're probably getting into the most epic part of this unboxing. Here we go. All righty. Here we have Effort of Valley 3609, a reddish brown gondola. Just check this thing out, everybody. So this thing features a uh, custom load of what appears to be scrap metal or uh, steel girders. Uh, or basically railroad track is what it looks like. It's actually it's quite heavy. This is a quite heavy gondola here and uh, Aside from the uh, awesome little white EV diamond. You can also see the uh, Rusty weathering that's been applied through paint on the side of the gondola here and the uh, added yellow safety yellow details on the uh, Step ladders and such and then here we are on the other side. Yeah, this gondola looks great and like I mentioned that load is completely custom done by Aaron so looks amazing this gondola looks incredible all right here we go with another awesome gondola Africa Valley 3610 a green weathered gondola with a custom scrap load check that out so you can see a piece of a locomotive in there some train parts a wheel even looks like a power torque wheel there which is actually quite fitting that looks great inside the uh, scrap load and here's the other side with uh, a letter missing. That's a great, that's a great detail right there. And uh, some uh, reddish brown rusty weathering. Yep, so another Effort of Valley gondola hauling scrap metal. Looks amazing. Okay, and here we have Effort of Valley Railroad. Tyco Shark Nose, a Tyco RF-16, number 210. So uh, before this shell got uh, stripped in DOT-3 brake fluid and then repainted, it was uh, quite messed up, but now it looks amazing. So here we are, number 210. Take a look at that nose. The safety yellow details look great on the front, as well as that uh, white slanted nose. And then here we are on the opposite side, Effort of Alley, number 210. This Tyco Shark Nose shell looks great. And even the back of the locomotive looks great. Wow, that is awesome. Awesome to see in person. All right. And last but certainly not least, we have a roundhouse box. What could possibly be in here? All right, let's see. Keep that in there for a second. Oops. Oh boy. Oh boy. We've got some uh, spare parts in here. Any roundhouse experts out there might be already able to tell what this is. Going to set that box back down in there. Open this up. Very well wrapped, by the way, Aaron, as always. Kudos to you for, or shout out, I should say, for doing an awesome job packing all these things. All right, put that here. All right, so here we have the Effort of Valley Railroad's first and only roundhouse box cab. Check this out. So uh, this is done up in the uh, black with white face maintenance of way scheme, um, which is kind of like the rest of the Effort of Valley maintenance of way equipment. But uh, check out the fine details here on the uh, trucks on this roundhouse cab. And then here we are on the opposite side of the cab as well. And what makes this unique is that it is a uh, track cleaner. This is a track cleaning roundhouse box cab locomotive. And I know that Aaron did do some TLC to this thing to get it to run quite well. So I anticipate running this thing on the layout. And also seeing just how well it works at cleaning track. 
But uh, yeah, the uh, this box cab looks amazing. Here's the details on the roof. This cab looks great. Not to mention, I know that it runs pretty well too, because Aaron gave it a good tune-up. So uh, there we go. The Effort of Valley Railroad now has a maintenance of way box cab diesel locomotive. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this epic unboxing of more custom Effort of Valley Railroad train stuff from my good friend Aaron. And as always, Aaron, incredible work on all of these things and for all of the Effort of Valley Railroad projects you've done in the past. And thank you all for watching.